to the second video uh, for the clothes dryer heat exchanger and what we're going to do with this video is uh, we're going to run it and I've actually got some thermometers set up to take actual temperatures um, the one thing that I found is um, when running this the fan plays a very important role in uh, getting more heat from the dryer and uh, the, the air blowing through the drum um, seems to transfer much more heat than not running the fan at all um, another interesting thing I found out is that uh, I don't get nearly as much moisture condensing as what I thought I would get um, and I after thinking either um, as the load is drying and, and the uh, air becomes less moist, it could be evaporating out of the drum or I'm not getting as good a heat exchange as I could. Um, and so now uh, what I'll do here is I will show you, I've actually got a load of laundry washing here uh, getting ready to dry. Uh, this will be a thermometer, the thermometer here and we're going to use this thermometer to um, check room temperature. So as this is running we're going to monitor what the temperature of the room is uh, when we start and as we're drying. Uh, right now we have um, 63.5 degrees here in the room. Uh, we've had a couple, the last couple days um, we've been sub-zero outside. Um, they say by the weekend we should be up back up in the 20s so it should warm back up. Uh, but we have been going through a cold spell here lately, um, so it's a little cooler in the basement. Uh, we're also going to use this thermometer here uh, on top of the drum to me measure the temperature of uh, the air radiating from the top of the drum. Um, I've also got this thermometer set up, and uh, this is an aquarium thermometer. And uh, what I want to do is measure the temperature of uh, the air blowing through the tubes, the air, com air temperature coming out of the tubes. Uh, you can see right now we're at 64 degrees there. And we will also use a uh, digital thermometer right here off the outlet um, of the heat exchanger. So that will be the air going out after we've taken the heat out of it. Uh, and then down here, uh, which I'll have to use a flashlight to read, is uh, another uh, digital thermometer, and that will be the air temperature going into the drum. Uh, you can see that I've got the digital thermometers uh, just wrapped with an ace bandage uh, to hold them on. Um, and none of this is real super scientific. Um, if we have a degree or two difference in the thermometers and stuff, um, these aren't scientifically cal uh, calibrated um, thermometers and stuff, but um, I, I guess what I really am wondering is uh, what the difference will be. You know, we'll, we'll take a base reading as we start, and then uh, as we run it, you know, what does the temperature change to? And so... Um, once the load of clothes is done uh, washing here, we'll put them in and start running it and see what we have for temperatures. Uh, two more things I just want to quick mention, and uh, that is uh, right down there, if you see um, this spot right there, it's just uh, basically a shirt and a towel that I have stuck uh, to fill in the gap uh, between the fan and the top of the drum. Uh, and that, what that is doing is uh, that's just taking all the air from the fan and uh, sending it to the uh, through the tubes and um, I haven't noticed any problems at all with the dryer uh, as far as um, restricting the exhaust from the dryer I haven't had anything that uh, has broken any burned out heating elements or anything uh, there is a little squeal from the idler pulley uh, but that has uh, been there since we got the dryer uh, from brand new so there's been no ill effects from running it running the uh, heat exchanger on the uh, dryer so far that I know. And um, let's see, we should probably have about another whole 15 minutes and we should have a load ready to go. Okay, we're ready to start drying. Uh, we'll just take some quick readings here. We have a room temperature of 63.4. We have a top of the drum temperature 
of uh, 64.5. We have an air outlet temperature of 64. Uh, we have a drum outlet temperature of 58.6. And let's see. We have an inlet temperature, it looks like, of 62.4 degrees. And so what we'll do is we'll start the dryer up, and um, I'll come back and take readings uh, every once in a while and see what kind of uh, temperature we get here. Okay, here is uh, 15 minutes after 15 minutes of running. Uh, we have a room temperature of, uh, let's see... 64.1 degrees. We have an exhaust temperature from the tubes of 70. Our temperature above the drum is 73.3. Uh, we have an outlet temperature of 98.4 degrees. And let's see, let me get my flashlight out. We have an inlet temperature of one, 109 degrees, 109.9 degrees. And now we'll take a reading after 30 minutes and we can see the room temperature is 65.7 degrees. Uh, we have an air temperature coming out of uh, 70 degrees. Uh, the temperature on top of the drum is uh, 76.5. The air outlet temperature is 95.4 degrees. And the inlet air temperature is 109 degrees. Okay, after um, one hour of running, we've got a room temperature of 67.3 degrees. An air temperature of 70 degrees. Above the drum temperature of 75.7 degrees. We have an outlet temperature of 94.5 degrees. And we have an inlet temperature of 111 degrees. Okay, and we have the end of the cycle. And we have an, a room temperature of 68.6 .6 degrees. We have an outgoing air temperature of about 70. Uh, 76.9 for the top of the drum. And 90. 0.9 for the outlet temperature and 102.6 for the inlet temperature. Uh, then now we'll start the next uh, load drying load here. Okay, we have about uh, one hour and 30 minutes. <clears throat> we have a room temperature of 69.1. We have an air temperature of 72 degrees uh, through the tubes. We have a top of the drum temperature of about 76 degrees. We have an air outlet temperature of 99.7. And we have an inlet temperature of about 111.9 degrees. Uh, you are starting to hear a little squeaking from that idler pulley. That's been a problem. Um, but we'll continue on with the readings. Okay, we got about one hour and 45 minutes. We have a room temperature of 69.5. We have an air through the tube temperature of 72 degrees. Top of the drum temperature of 79 degrees. And we have an outlet temperature of 96.1. And an inlet temperature of 